Well, all right, all right, folks. Welcome back to Who Buddy Second Shift, where the entire month of July is going to be second shift because I got some stuff going on. Actually, this is June. I'm not only going to have second shift tonight, I'm going to have third shift. Where uh, I need to go back home, get some presentations ready for my real job tomorrow. Um, so I'll be ready for that. Plus, I got to write down a bunch of questions for some guys that I got to have for some other stuff that I got going on. But more on that a little bit later in the month of July. So, but tonight, let's get focused on the shipping container. I finally have a date to where I need to have this done. I need to have it done by the end of July. So I need to hustle, get this thing done. I actually need to have it done before that because I got some stuff going on at the end of July that I won't be able to focus on this anymore. So I need this thing up, going, and uh, automated so I don't have to think about it anymore. So tonight, we're scraping two by fours. We're getting the roof all ready. Um, because on Wednesday or Thursday, I'm putting up paneling tomorrow night. Hopefully, there's some electrical going down. So, boom, let's get it done, son. All right, I should have done this the last time before I put the boards down on the bottom, as you can see. And from the last video, that we've already got boards on the bottom. But I'm going to do this for the remainder of the shipping container to make sure that everything's good before we start putting on boards. Should have thought about it before. Didn't think about it. But, hey, you live and you learn. So first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, and Jimmy gave me this tip, is uh, just going to take a straight edge, run it down in between the two by fours here, see if there's any high spots. If I see any high spots, actually, let me take a step back. So before I do that, I'm going to scrape each one of the two by fours to make sure we got good, clean surfaces. So the scrape fills up. I'm going to go all the way up to the roof and get that done. Next step, then I'm coming in with my straight edge. I'm going to run it up and down to make sure there's any, not any high spots. I'm expecting to see some high spots around where I have the wires coming through. Let me drop it down a little bit. So there's a little bit of wires where the wires are coming through. It's a little bit of a hump there. So we're going to see if that's going to cause a problem. And then I'm going to use this without nicking the wires of trying to get it to where when the panel sits, it'll sit flush and not gap out like that. So um, that's what I'm gonna try to accomplish tonight. Tomorrow night, um, because it's already like 7, 7.30, and I'm gonna do as much as I can tonight before I start getting tired and getting ready to pass out because I have to go back home and do more work for the real job. Tomorrow night, we're gonna hit the generator again, use the oscillating tool, and then hit these corners that you see up in this area to make sure that I got good 90s for each of the boards to sit up and go against each other. So that's the plan tonight. Hopefully we're gonna get it done, get it knocked out, at least the scraping and the checking and the verifying, maybe on at least one wall. We'll try to do both walls, but I got both walls, the end to do, and then also the roof to get done. So, I mean, it's a, it's a decent amount of work. So, but uh, we're gonna try to get through as much as we can because tomorrow night electrical, end of the week, start putting boards up. So here we go. <music> than the areas that are kind of in the middle because you know that's where they're spraying and then as they're getting up towards the top then it's kind of getting a little bit thicker up on top which uh, i'm okay with that but i just need to clean it or i need to cut it back some so um so i'm going to use a straight edge tomorrow a little bit more i'm going to get up in there to like at the top it's just there's too much of that stuff up there so i'm going to use the oscillating blade on the top stuff and probably on the roof too because i think it's going to work a lot better uh, I'm going to keep trying to knock out the stuff like up to the uh, the roof trusses to uh, do that by hand to get that all done that way. Um, I wish I would have done when they spray just went behind them with either a wiper or something to just kind of level it off and get it off of those uh, um, trusses or, or the uh, two by fours, which uh, maybe or may not they should have done while they're here. But uh, they didn't know exactly what I was going to be doing with the putting stuff over it. So not, not really fair to put that on them. But uh, that's what I should have done is went behind them, scraped it off while it was still kind of curing. Not sure how that would have worked either. Or used, uh, I've seen some people use like a hot wire or something, kind of trim it down once they're done. So anyway, it's working out okay. Um, like I said, the top is worse than any of the rest of it. The bottom of it wasn't really that bad at all yesterday. 
was a little wavy, but uh, wasn't that bad at all. The top though is gonna need some work. So I'm gonna just keep on trucking, get this done and then finish it up tomorrow night. All right, next day, um, I'm going to get back on scraping the walls, getting everything good to go there. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of video tonight because I need to haul butt, get things done because I'm getting tired of working on this thing. So that's pretty much what everything looks like on the other side. Um, I'm going to try to get the paneling up this week. That is the goal, paneling up this week, at least a majority of the paneling up this week. So let's see how it goes. All right, so we are cooking now. It took a little while to get started. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of pictures. One thing is when you're doing this process, make sure you've got some safety glasses on because this stuff goes everywhere, all up and down your arms. So I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna get up on the ladder, show you a little bit closer, but I'm using the oscillating tool and look, it cleans up very, very well with the oscillating tool. What was taking me, you know, a long time, this thing almost works like a shear. Let me show you how good. So this is before where it's all on the two by fours and this is how it's cleaning up after. So it's almost just like cutting straight through it. So it's turned out really good. So it takes me like maybe a minute for each one of these bays. So I should finish up this side tonight and then I'll finish up the no, tomorrow on the other side. And then I'll be ready for uh, Thursday to be able to actually um, start installing some paneling. So things are going pretty good, um, like I said. Make sure you get on safety glasses if you're using this. Uh, the one I'm using right now is just a uh, Rockwell um, oscillating tool. The one thing I wish I did have was probably like a DeWalt battery powered one, which I'll probably pick up. Um, but uh, it's working great. Um, this one's got a variable speed, so it's it's uh, cutting through everything. But uh, you can kind of see up there, um, it's going to fit up there flush now, the paneling, and it's going to go a whole lot faster than uh, when I was just using the uh, the putty knife and the um, other little cutting tool. So away we go. Let's get this thing done. tired and we're gonna stop for the evening you got the whole side done at the top probably gonna have to clean up a few spots but uh, uh, I don't know if you can tell if it's any good or not but it's good enough for me it's good enough to get the paneling up there square so we're gonna wrap it up for the evening so till tomorrow night then we're gonna do this wall and then get the paneling up this week so I'll be back tomorrow night well, all right all right folks tonight we are starting second shift way late, but on our second shift tonight, we got a rainbow. It started raining today, so it pushed me out to about eight o'clock. Someone will be probably working until 11, trying to get everything ready, because tomorrow we're doing paddling. Got the generator all set up. We are ripping these boards here. This, uh, I can, somebody mentioned, I say this thing's a champ a lot, but this thing is a champ. Um, I'm going through, I'm ripping all the boards on the bottom, getting, like you can see right here, it just peels away all the foam that's sprayed on the footer, and that is with my boy's oscillating saw. This one's a Rockwell. It's working great. I mean, I'm buzzing through this stuff, so I got to finish up this wall. I got to do this wall. I got to do that wall, and uh, hopefully I make it. So here we go. All right, guys, um, it is 9 o'clock. I'm gonna work for about 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna call it a night so that way I can at least eat tonight. I didn't get to eat. Hold on a second. Please join me down there. Alright guys, it's 9 30, 9 o'clock. Am I work? <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> I just sucked in some problems. All right, so it's nine o'clock, guys. We got about 30 more minutes, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Last night I didn't get to eat dinner because I worked till about 10. Um, so tonight I'm gonna work for 30 minutes, get it done, and then I'm out.
first strip, I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm doing here. I mean, it's nothing major, but uh, it goes pretty easy, pretty fast. So let me adjust my camera. Alright, so that is it for the evening. As you can see, this is a mess, but uh, it's working. So I'll be done with this and I won't ever have to do this again. Uh, the next shipping container, I'm going to come up with a better idea maybe, or, you know, just deal with it. It wasn't too big of a hassle, just a couple of nice work. So anyway, um, that's it for this episode. Next episode, you'll see me finishing out the panels. So thanks for watching. All right, so we're gonna do a little planning here with the uh, with Jeremy, so we can go through kind of what we're gonna do here. So hit it. Look at that, Frank. Uh oh, right, right. Through, oh, sorry, we'll be right back with you, folks. No, but, keep going. Oh, we got. Keep we're, going. Okay, we're still going. We're just we're just shutting it down. We're just shutting it down. More important. That's yes, right. All right. All right. Let's go for it. Let's do it. All right. So basically, we've got everything wired into the panel, short of this breaker. There's gonna be a 20 amp breaker. And this is going to be for the overhead lights. Everything's in. We've labeled it. We have this pile of wire. You got that? Yeah. Yep. Pile of wire. So we have to put a, um, a four gang switch. We're going to have front, outside lights, rear, outside lights, front, interior lights, which would be the majority of the container. Mm -hmm. Two thirds or three quarters, probably. Three quarters of the container. Um, and then the rear section will be another switch. So you don't have to burn the front lights all the time. You come in here, our first switch is gonna be um, for the rear section. And then the last two switches are gonna be the outside. And they'll probably be on all the time because you're gonna have motion sensors and on truck um, light yep. sensors. And camera. Yep, Action. and a camera, the whole deal. Yep. So basically we go through this. We're on the thing. We're still there. We're coming down. Coming down. So the paneling starts an inch and a half up. Inch and a half up off the floor. It ends at four feet. I guess we can go to our marks, Mike. Right? Yep. This is four feet. We have that. Yeah. Come down to touch. Here's four feet. Another inch and a half up is where our paneling's going to end because we're going to space it off the floor an inch and a half. Okay, mm -hmm. four feet down, we're scrolling up, we're panning. panning. <laughs> four feet from the ceiling down, we're walking, we're yeah. walking, yeah. we're walking, boom. Okay. Our paneling ends there, okay? Which leaves us with a four and a half inch gap. Mm -hmm. And so I'd say to the folks at home, if you were doing a shipping container and you're doing a high cube, mm -hmm there's some things that you need to deal with because it's taller than eight feet on the interior. I think it's basically eight and a half feet on the interior, nine feet on the exterior, maybe yeah. give or take an inch, something like that. So if you had a normal one, interior is gonna be seven and a half feet. You can easily handle it with two rows of, of plywood or you know one vertical and nip the top one. In our case, we came up with a pretty good scheme. So we'll space our plywood an inch and a half off the bottom. That'd be a two by four, um, you know, like a- Footer or something. A footer, you know, trim piece, which basically keeps all your shelves, workbenches, anything like that from beating up on the walls because the paneling, you know, it's a little bit thin. So keeps it off the walls and brings our sheet up to this point here. We'll bring our sheet down to this point here, four and a half inches. We'll cut some rabbit joints on the table saw with a dado cutter. And we'll have a one by board. And it'll look nice, it'll be like a chair, chair rail board going around, all the way around the, the container. And what that allows us to do is route out the boxes. We're gonna use old, old work boxes which have the tabs and ears on them. So basically we'll make a router template of an eight foot board. We'll route it out 
We'll carve out the foam to the bare minimum that we need. And basically, we'll put the board in place and the board will have those rabbit cuts on either side, which will accept this plywood by a half inch and this plywood by a half inch. And it'll, make, it'll provide a nice trim piece. And then it'll have a rectangular cutout in it, which will pull the wires through, strip them, join them, put them on the outlet. So basically, we're coming down all along here, you know, we've got an outlet, what do we do, like every six feet or maybe eight feet? Every three, three, three spaces. Every three, three spaces. So we have an outlet all the way down, yeah. and that will all be located within the trim boards. And so it's a one by six. It's very strong. Like if you ever like, I don't know, you ever go in a shop and, and like you're, it's kind of like someone had, you know, come back in and added some outlets and all. And you go and pull your your cord out of it, and the you know the outlet's all flimsy and, and tearing up. So with these old work boxes, you screw them in place. The ears come out, tighten it up, and then you get small sheet metal screws or wood screws. And there's four tabs on those, and you screw them right into the face of that board. So it's basically solid on a one by. It's not on a, a quarter inch paneling or anything like that. And it lets you have like a nice purchase on the on the wood behind it, you know, mm -hmm. tightens it right up. So basically the next thing that we, you, Chapman, whoever it is needs to do, yeah. is we're gonna come along the bottom, yeah. space these up. You've already carved this out. I think I think you're in the yeah. video on that. So this wall is all carved. We're gonna basically come up, butt it up, put those boards in on this area. And then we'll go and buy the one by sixes and we'll start running them. I have a dado blade. I don't know if you have one, but I have a dado blade nope. we'll put on here. And basically just run them through and then they'll be prepped and ready. And uh, we'll make a router template to buzz out the boxes. And it'll come together quick. Yep. Like honestly, if it wasn't like hot as balls here in Florida, mm -hmm. um, like two days on the weekend, we yep. would have Basically, the whole, all the all the um, sidewalls done, and then it's a matter of just handling the ceiling. Like it's ju June, yeah. and with the insulation and everything, and the breeze going through, it feels pretty good. It now. wasn't, yeah. Right now, yeah. Outside, like even though it's dark outside, it's very hot. Yeah. Inside here, it just I don't know, it feels good. Yeah. So. And then, what do you think about the? Uh, you were talking about putting a trim board at the joints. So yeah. Go into that. Yeah. Go for it. So that's like um, like a one by two, something mm -hmm. like you know, inch and three quarters board. Is that what it is? Yep. And it just goes, you know, the joint's going to be the same, right? It'd be the easiest thing. Yep. And then the problem is, you know, we're going to have the one by six here. Yep. But then this is all it is: a trim board, blasted in with the nails, mm -hmm. and liquid nailed in place. Yep. So it's going to look sharp. Yeah. I'm excited. Can we? Couple. Real quick, like yeah. we can come together if you want. Yeah. So, do what we do. We'll group, 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 group together. Yeah. Right, group shot. Yeah. So, I do want to comment on Mike's video from, you know, a couple weeks ago or whatever. He's like, we're wow. moving, we moved the container. It's all level. You know, you know, Jeremy, the mechanical intimidator, has to, um, you know, push back a little bit. Mike, so, Mike says, hey, you know, the lock isn't locking. Like it was, we gotta like shim it or whatever the comments were. Yeah. Um, honestly, the lock was like like zero, yeah. um, zero play. You know, it was like five thousandths. It had to be within five thousand. You move the container, has to, and it's within six thousandths or something. So yeah. like the latch just doesn't. So it's just a matter if we come in, if we can, if we yeah. like. Yeah. Um, here's the latch. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah. So you guys the thing went to a thing. There's a latch striker, and then inside of that is, you know, is the hole that we cut. So all it is is a file job north and south of this thing yep. to clear it, to be able to latch the, the deadbolt. It's, it's a very simple thing. Yep. We're going to do it. We're going to get it on film because, you know, I felt like, like there was a warp to the container or something. It's very stiff. If there is a warp, you're talking like five thousandths maybe at this area. So... We'll get in there and file it with the phone ringing in the background. <laughs> we'll get in there and file it, and, and we'll just show you. Like it, it isn't anything. Like it doesn't matter what can, what position the container's in at the time when you like weld in your door because you've you've set all your gaps. You know. Yeah. So. 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Did, should I tell you that I already fixed should it? Should I be quiet? No, no should I tell you that I already Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you file it? Yeah. It, but in, oh, and forget to, about it. And to, to, to prove his point even further, um, he was exactly right. It wasn't like it was jacked up. It was just uh, the, the lock was too high. So we took uh, the tool, the uh, drill there with the little uh, whatever that. Yeah, like a carbide is. burr. Car yeah, carbide, um, carbide, carbide bead burring. Or burr. Carbide burr. It's oh, okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, we took that, hit it on the bottom, and now it shuts and, and does a great job locking. So Yeah. Excellent. It wasn't much. Like, it was on the edge anyway. Like, we had a yeah. kind of fiddle, we'll call it. We had a dick with the key a little yeah. bit to get it to latch. And and so now we're, we're it wasn't much, like, how much do you yeah. think it took off? Your like mechanical maybe, engineer, yeah, Mike, what do we got? 10,000. 10,000. Yeah. So, so not, not I said probably. five. Mike says 10. He's yeah. probably a little more accurate yeah. than me. Um, yeah, I didn't want to get it out, you know. And, you know. So when you're watching the video yeah. and I'm like grossly off on any of my facts, are you yelling at the TV? No. No? Okay. You're just. You're Here's, just... I mean, we'll add it to this. Okay. Here's what I'm like. This is how I do things. Yeah. Like, we got the, you know, some, don't even film it. Don't even film back in this corner here. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. You don't film back in here with all these wires hanging out and stuff like. Yeah. You just say, we got some of the, you know, maybe you zoom in on this. We got some of the wiring done, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Jeremy's gonna get this. It, and it, look, it looks like a spaghetti nest back yeah. here. So just, and then you work your way down. You know, the warping, right? You pick which egg. Mike's honest. Mike, yeah. come in. Mike's, Mike's honest with this stuff. Yeah. So like, this Mike is finds the, he finds the worst worked wall, American Ninja Warrior, there, and says, we'll put a trim board here and all that. Come here, look at this. Yeah. I'm on down. Yeah. You pick the worst wall, look at this. This is like, you know, hopefully you can see. Yeah. I got this. Right? It's super straight. Next guy. He's hard on himself. Next guy. Super straight. Right, so it's fine, and, and maybe the one, and it's probably because the guys is dark and they weren't, weren't able to chisel out all the foam like they should have. Yeah. A trim board, it locks it in. Sorry, Mark, this gets long. Yeah. Come down here. Here's this, right? This is this is just from the foam. Yeah. So you put your trim. Plus, there's a two by four piece that comes along the bottom as a threshold barrier yeah it's good, it's, good go. it's solid dude it's gonna look great i'm proud of you man. hold hold on a second is this sponsorship um i do i think he i think he said he's proud of me i, I, I don't oh. know if i'm gonna be able to sleep tonight I'm proud of us. and uh do you want to do a word from our sponsor before you go there's a word from our sponsor which is, which is the the bud advocate of the year to get the buzz going yeah i lie um, Indian Pale Ale, this is from Cigar City, yeah. and it's good, it's tasty, and it packs maybe a 7.5%, who knows, whatever it is, but it tastes yeah. good. Cool. All right, guys, well, that's going to cut it for tonight. We're going to finish up the paneling this week, and oh. we're going to get anything done. Uh oh, we shaved, too. Oh, he shaved, too. I did not. I can't it. tell that. So, anyway, um, <laughs> we are going to get out of here, so you guys have a good evening.